LAC is doing something unique and special this April in honor of Armenian History Month in Los Angeles County. They're bringing the studio to you in a mobile truck so that you can record your story. My Armenian Story is a crowdsourced oral history project organized by USC's Institute of Armenian Studies. So the idea is, you know, everyone has a story to tell. Mm -hmm. These stories make up the Armenian American story. And in part, of course, that turns into the Southern California story. We want to do two things. We want to use this month to say that we don't want to lose the history of the diversity of Los Angeles. When writers and artists look for material, they don't look for historic people, they look for real people. They want real stories, and we want those real stories recorded. And the other thing we want to do is remind people that, you know, moments pass, but memories, memories have to be preserved and kept and cherished. You can come down to the truck and have someone record you. So tell me a little bit about your upbringing. I always say that I grew up in a very unique Armenian household. Uh, I wouldn't call us a traditional household, even though um, we upheld a lot of the Armenian traditions. I think my parents were much more progressive. Or you can record on your own from the comfort of your home and just send it in. It's a QR code, go to the questions, go to how you do it, how you upload, and that's it, you're part of history. My father specifically played a huge role in, in shaping who I am today. Was it an emotional experience? It was, yeah. It was a beautiful thing to do. Is this the first time that Institute of Armenian Studies at USC has done something like this? Is this the first time that we've taken the studio to the people? Yes, but for the last six, seven years, a good focus of the Institute's programming is to document 20th century Armenian history. That's the Iranian Revolution, the Lebanese Civil War, the fall of the Soviet Union, all the old American Armenians who've been here three, four, five, six generations. We've been recording those stories, but we'll never get to all of them. Sometimes we think we have all the time in the world and we'll do it later. But we need to stop talking about it and actually do it. I'm starting this process with my own grandparents. Yes. He talked about how he remembers when his father was exiled. Because at that time he had a private business, he had a private store, and the government kept raising the taxes and he kept paying the taxes and then came a point where they just took it away from him. He was shot and killed trying to escape. His mother was left a widow with three sons. We also talked about World War II. His brothers went off to fight. One came back, the other ended up in America. They didn't see each other for years. Almost 35 years later, they were reunited in Los Angeles. And then eventually, all three brothers were together again. Did you know any of I, this? I knew bits and parts of it. Um, some of the details he went into I wasn't familiar with. Your kids would never know this unless you recorded this. What I love is that you've taken a lunch truck and converted this into your studio. And there's great significance in the fact that this is a lunch truck. The truck is loaned to us by Vahe Karabedian, who runs Vahe Enterprises, a typical American rags to riches story. He took the cold sandwich trucks that we all knew, you know, in the factory parking lots 30, 40 years ago, and turned them into hot trucks, which of course are part of LA life today. So we took his, one of his trucks, and turned it into a studio. And it's a perfect example of not just the Armenian American success story, but the fact that Armenians, and all of us really, whatever ethnicity, really are a part of the fabric of Los Angeles life. We just have to share those stories. So the idea is to continue to do this on your own. This project isn't just for the month of April. So go online to armenian.usc.edu slash myarmenianstories for more information. You can find a list of questions there. It'll help you get started. You can also follow the truck and check on the next scheduled stop. For example, today the truck will be at LA City Hall from 10 a.m. until 3 p.m. at First Street between Main Street and Spring Street. Just Follow the truck. I love the idea of the truck actually coming to you, so to speak, so that yeah. you, can, you can tell your story or even just send it in to them. That's just such a great, it, it truly is a lunch truck. It's the smorgasbord of Armenian history. <laughs> well, we've done stories about this gentleman, Vaya Garbazian. If you remember a couple years ago, he's he set up a factory in Armenia to create jobs there. And then when the war happened, they took those lunch trucks and they converted them to emergency mobile units right. to help with the war and the wounded. Mm -hmm. So it's really 
nice that he's, you know, offering this truck for them to do their project. And so people can do what you're doing with your grandma, yeah. record their own, and then send it to USC to be part of the bigger project. And I had to do it with, in segments. I'm not finished sure. because he got very emotional it's and it's it was heavy. It was for really sure. heavy. And he saved all these letters, um, these old, old letters from the 30s. He has them. They're written on newspaper or just strange pieces of paper because they're written from a jail cell when mm -hmm. his father was exiled or when his brother escaped and was in a concentration camp in Germany. So it's a heavy, it's a heavy If not for a truck experience. like this, a lot of those stories would be lost, yeah. right? And that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's I mean, yeah. everyone should do this, I think. Right, in some fashion, for yeah, sure. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. This is beautiful. Thanks. Really awesome. I love it. All right.